Hey, hey everybody, it's Corp from Cody Media. I help restaurant owners get butts in seats. Wanted to talk about how to take better photos for your restaurant social media. Do you ever notice like sometimes the food or the people are like really small or it looks kind of awkwardly placed? There's a little tip that's called the rule of thirds and it's a simple little tip that will make your photos look so much better. So the rule of thirds says you take what your photo would be and you basically draw a tic-tac-toe board, okay? We all know tic-tac-toe, all right? So the idea is that your most important parts of the photo are on one of these points, okay? Ideally one of these points, or also on these lines. You wanna have your subject, the most important part of the photo, on one of those things. So there's a simple thing, and maybe some of you have seen this inside of like the photo app. I don't know if you can see that there. There are grid lines. You see those grid lines and it's the tic-tac-toe board. And so when you're taking the photo, you can do that. You can also, when you go to edit your photo, you can make it look like that. So um, pull up those grid, li grid lines. So let me show you an example of what this looks like in practice. So. Um, for example, right here, uh, here's someone, imagine this is one of your staff members showing off some of their food. And so if you look at this, you notice when I put the tic-tac-toe board in, ideally we wanna get like the nose is right on that PowerPoint line. Now we don't, it's not exact, but it's pretty darn close. And then we also have the burger and the drink on those lines. And so you can see there's this nice little composition of this right here, and it's real tight on there. Also, this is a little trick. We always want the person's eyes looking off into space. And so if you look back at this, if I go back, you can see like the eyes are kind of coming off into this space. If the eyes were looking over here into the short side, that doesn't look as good. So this is a really good composition of it. Here's another example where we've got somebody eating. You can see it's just more, uh, it's just, it's better composition. It looks more naturally pleasing when we have the ice cream coat, his nose lines up really, really well, his hand, it's all right there. And we have this extra space. It just looks better. It, it's more natural to the eye rather than putting him right in the middle. Now you may be asking how to do this with food. So here's an example with food, okay? And so you can do the same thing as well. If you look at this, we've got basically pretty darn close, the, the two main dishes right here are on these two, what, what I call PowerPoint lines. And so it, it lines up really well. So it's a, it's a nice little thing to do um, that'll make your photos look a lot better. Remember, pull up those grid lines um, on, the, on, the, um, on an iPhone or an iPad. If you go to camera, if you go to camera and then you go to grid, you can turn on, that's how you turn on and off your grid line. So that's my quick tip for today. I hope that helps. Take better pictures. Make sure you're posting pictures of people, product, and process. My three Ps is really, really important. So hope everybody's having an awesome day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.